Hey there, Crystal Thompson here for Simon Says Stamp. Today I have the newest Stamp Timber collaboration, Whimsy Stamps, along with Simon, and we have the Happy Pugma stamp set doing a scallop clouds DIY with some dyes. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. And for the supplies, again, we're going to be using the exclusive Whimsy Stamps Happy Pugmas. With Stamped Hamburg, once the stamp set is sold out, it's sold out. It's not going to be made again. I have the Pretty Pink Posh Scalloped Edge. Um, this is one of the sets. And I have die cut that awesome uh, frame. And I wanted to use both the interior and the exterior. So I used some washi tape on the back. Because it's going to be taped on some... It's going to be placed on some red cardstock. So you're not going to see it anyways. We're going to begin by cutting our die cut of the scallop dies onto a piece of white cardstock and then grabbing our uh, Distress Oxide in Fired Brick and an ink blender. We're going to begin ink blending some clouds. And I know it looks really kind of funky in the beginning when you begin. But so we're going to do a straight edge. We're going to shift over to the right and then shift over to the left. And we're going to start layering these awesome clouds. And as we add that color, you're going to see how the, the clouds start to form on the card. And honestly, red clouds, you're probably wondering what in the world. You're going to see it once we bring in the little happy pugs. They're really fun to color with Copics. And another tip, as you are blending out your, your clouds, don't use too much ink. You really don't need to saturate that brush or they end up getting too saturated and look kind of funky. So now I'm pretty happy with the look of my scallop clouds on my scalloped frame. We're going to begin placing our little presents. So I have three of the dogs from the Mary Pugmas that I have colored with Copics. I'd fussy cut and then um, I've added a piece of foam adhesive. I wanted to layer some presents, so I'm going to grab the present stamp set from this from the set, and I stamped it using my Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink, which is Copic friendly ink. It's not going to run all over. Grabbing R39, which is just a nice dark red, and I wanted it to be a lot darker than that ink blending that I just did because I really want it to pop up. So I'm going to add some shadows to that. And then I'm going to color in with a lighter red. This is going to be R46. And as you can see, we're just going to fill in where we're missing those shadows. And so we're going to repeat this process over and over and over. And then we're going to add our little pugs. All right, I'm going to speed up the video because you really don't need to see how far I end up coloring. So on this first one, I did just the one present and adding my little pug. And then for the second uh, layer, for that middle layer, I placed my little pug just to get the placement of it. And then we're going to begin coloring with the Copics G19 for our darkest and then come in with a lighter one, R46. And so we're just going to do the two presents, as you can see, one has been a bit skewed, a little bit rotated off to the right, and then that red one has been rotated off to the left, leaving enough space to add our pug. So now we're going to add them with foam and then do our last one. This one's quite silly, it has a little reindeer uh, headband going on, and again, placing it down just for the placement of the presents. And so what I like to do when I add my foam adhesive to the back of my die cuts, uh, I leave the backing so I can see how it's gonna how it's gonna be raised, what dimension's gonna show up, yet I can still remove it before sticking them down. And so if you're trying to figure out what you're doing with your uh, colored Copic uh, doggies or cats or whatever card you're doing, leave the backing on your foam until you're ready and and it, it makes I feel like it makes a difference of a card and then you're not having to do any masking and it gives you that really cool dimension. I'm going to finish up with R39 for the shadows on this present and I thought we really need to come back later with a white pen or a glitter pen and add some embellishment to those little presents. So our pugs are ready to go. We're going to move on to our sentiment. So I have the awesome, I can't wait to pee on the Christmas tree, which I thought was really funny. And any dog parent knows how those little dogs just love to pee on the tree, right? Or kitties. We're not going to be uh, selective here. I have stamped the sentiment using the Simon Says Stamp Embossing and Watermark Ink. Then using the Fine Detail Powder. I've added four layers of foam on this. And I'm using the same style, same color, same 
um, card stock that we're going to be using on the background of this card. I'm going to add that foam and then I'm going to flip this around and trim the edge of that strip. And so I, like I mentioned earlier, you can see all that washi because I wanted to use the negative die cut just to get that look on my with my die. And I didn't just have something that embossed it, it had something that cut. Last but not least, we are going to embellish. We're going to be bring in the Nouveau Drops Clear Glaze and we're going to use this as adhesive. And the reason why is that it dries clear. So you end up using a sequence or an embellishment that has a little hole and the, the, the Nouveau is going to pop out. It's just going to be clear and it's not going to be overpowering whatsoever and it dries really clear. And guys, that does it for me. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed the exclusive celebration of Whimsy Stamps and Simon Says. Go grab your stamp set. All products are linked below. Let me know if you have any questions or thoughts. If you're a pug lover, this is just a really fun set. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you later. Bye.